Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission showcase. We've got some really cool custodian guard in a custom colour scheme uh, with an accent of gold on the black, which is really lovely. If you're new to the Siege Studios YouTube channel, then firstly, welcome. Here at Siege Studios, we are UK-based premium commission miniature painting service with 28 members of staff who all paint from our bronze above tabletop entry level all the way up to platinum, which is our competition entry quality. If you are interested in a quote, very simply, what you need to do is head to the website linked below in the description where it says get a quote. Click on that link. It takes you directly to Siege Studios contact form. Complete the contact form by selecting the relevant drop down options for your project from those available. And then in the message section, include a list of models in our model list format and uh, file it off to us to get the process started. We are back in a second to have a look at these awesome models in more detail. See you guys back in a sec. So first up guys, let's have a look at all of the custodian guard from this custom force. Really cool colour scheme obviously to start off with uh, black prime primary colour with gold accents and a lovely purple accent colour on top of that as well. Uh, incidentally, just from the right from the get-go, our clients requested different colour basing rims for the units just to break up obviously and make them visible on the tabletop. Quite a nice little thing. Um, haven't had it before ever in all the years of Siege being a business, but it's uh, very interesting actually. It's very easy to distinguish the squads once they're all uh, on the table together. So good idea on our client's behalf. Uh, let's pull forward some of these custodians so you can have a look at them in a lot closer detail. Right from the get-go, you can see that lovely, lovely black and gold scheme with that purple accent, which is really nice. All that brush blended on the force weapons or power weapons that they've got here as well. Amy's done a stellar job uh, on doing all the edging throughout the project with little tiny catch lights on the edges of armour and things as well, which is really, really nice. All the gems, lenses and everything fully picked out, fully painted as well in a lovely fashion. Specifically, like on the tonal variation and uh, colour hues on the gold as as well it's not just a flat gold there's loads of de depth and contrast added to those as well to really bring that gold to a gleaming finish uh, and i do like specifically that the uh, the gems have all been done that lovely green to complement the purple as well which is really nice so that's just one of the uh, custodians let's pull forward another dude here that's got a shield just so you can see him in a bit closer detail but again lovely brush blended power weapon there as you can see with every little bit of detail fully picked out in a lovely fashion so that's just him and then we'll move on to purple squad, as I've denoted them with their purple basing rim. Uh, but you've got obviously another one here in a quite a cool pose as well. Uh, looks really, really cool, like he's been bounding forward as well there, but a really, really lovely finish on these. Uh, and we'll have a look at the Vexilor, just so you can have a look at him. Uh, he has a grey base rim, as you can see there. But just going to focus for you guys. Uh, but lovely, lovely uh, extra little details on all the um, all the parchment hanging down, all the text that's been done on there as well. And he's done a stellar job of doing that. Uh, and I do love his pose where he's got shield lowered, but then he's just sort of uh, marching forward as well in a lovely fashion. You've got this lovely, lovely subtle glow around the energy coils on the back of the storm shield as well. It's little extra details like that uh, that you should expect from us here at Siege. Uh, and then moving around the back, you can see all the areas of the armour fully highlighted and painted as well in a lovely fashion. So that's just the Vexilor. Uh, we'll pull forward and finish on a couple from Red Squad, uh, just so you can see them. Again, he's uh, holding his sword aloft there, as you can see, in a really cool pose. And uh, every aspect of detail work really done to a stellar finish. Uh, and I would love the uh, complimentary purple on the inside of the pads as well there, as you can see, just using that accent of purple once again on the uh, on the model. Uh, so that's just him. And then we'll finish off with one final one, so you can have a look at that, another one, just in a different pose, but again, the same can consistency and quality from model to model in the unit and uh, obviously they've got different colour base rooms but you could quite easily mix these up into different units if you needed to or make one large unit and uh, they'd all match in extremely well together with that consistency from model to model. Uh, so that's just the infantry from this custom custodian force, guys. Up next, we're going to have a look at some of the uh, Virtus Praetors, so the jet bikes and the shield captains. They're coming up next. See you guys back in a sec. So last up, let's have a look at the Jet Bikes Virtus Praetors. Really cool models. We've got two shield captains here as well. Same again with the basing rim colour, just so you're aware. Obviously, there's four with silver rim bases, and then there's two that denote the shield captains from um, the, the six. So really, really easy to see. Let's pull forward one of the shield captains first and foremost. You have a look at now, these are magnetised onto the bases, just so they obviously go on and off, which is really, really easy. Uh, but I'll just get this to focus for you guys so you can have a look at this awesome shield captain in more detail. Again, blended lance power weapon there, as you can see. All the extra little details are all fully painted and picked out there. Every aspect of detail on these models, they're absolutely dripping with detail. Uh, literally so, so much detail. All the little screens like on the wrist there all picked out. 
with little text and stuff on there as well. Every little gem all done as well. Lovely, lovely complimentary sort of brownish, kind of maroon cape and tabard on him as well, which is really nice. Just that red hue, just to complement the green lenses and gems and everything as well, which is really nice. But all the dials and everything here, just so you can see that, get that nice to focus. All those gems and dials and everything have been painted on there in a lovely fashion. Uh, every little button and thing all done. Uh, we've got this lovely, once again, this completely br brush blended Lance power weapon there as well. The NG, NG kind of point contact points on it as well have been picked out there as you can see. Uh, and then all the guns and everything all done there as you can see. And also the gold all sort of highlighted through multiple stages as well in a lovely fashion. Uh, so that's just one of the shield captains. Uh, we're now going to have a look at just at some of the regular Virtus Praetors. And again, you can just see this magnetizing here just so that the uh, bikes just clip onto the bases really nicely. Same again on the Lance, all brush blended. Uh, same consistency throughout from model to model just to get, so you can mix up the models in units really easily. Uh, but every little aspect nicely painted and nicely finished. Lovely little gems and bits and bobs also done on the back so you can see behind him as well. Nice attention to detail there on all those little details. Uh, and again, Mechanicus symbol all picked out there in the correct sort of chevron, got a half white and black scheme. Again, dial and everything fully painted in a lovely fashion. Uh, Amy's done a stellar job on all of these. So this is just uh, one of the normal Virtus Prey tours, as you can see here. Uh, we'll pull forward the other shield captain just so you can compare him as well. And I may finish up with one more of the Virtus Prey tours as well. But again here, all the facial details there are painted, eyes, teeth and everything all done. Uh, and again, the little screens. I love the uh, that he's got a spare sword just chilling out there behind him as well, <laughs> just in case he loses his uh, his lance. And you'll notice that the uh, these shield captains have also had like a shield put on the sort of bonnet of the bike as well, just to denote them as well. Uh, it's just a request of our client just to sort of make them a little bit more ornate. It kind of fits in quite nicely as well and kind of looks like it's mag lock. So if he does uh, get off his mount, he can uh, then use that as well, which is really cool. Uh, so that's just uh, the other um, shield captain there on a bike. Uh, and we will finish off with another one of the um, of the Versapraetors just so you can have a look at him. Again, really, really cool model. Uh, do like them a lot. I love the massive eagle on the front. Uh, but every little aspect of detail painted in a lovely fashion. So that's just another one of the Virtus Prey tours there, uh, obviously with a magnetized base. Come back in a second, we're gonna have a look at the final section of the video and just go over how you can take out a commission with us here at Siege and see the force all again in its glory. See you guys back in a sec. So thanks for checking the video out, guys. I do hope you like this custom custodian guard army. Uh, I know Amy had a pleasure working on it. If you are interested in a commission with us, be it for a small force character or army, then all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video where there's a link where it says get a quote. That will take you directly to the Siege Studios website's contact form. Once you're there, complete that contact form by selecting the relevant drop-down options from those available for your project. And in the message section, include a list of models in our model list format. Fire that off to us to get the ball rolling uh, and we'll come back to you with a quote. While you're here on YouTube, just a few quick little favours. Obviously subscribe to the channel so you can keep up to date with all the different content that we put up. And if you do hit the bell icon, you will be notified of, uh, of new videos when they go up. If you give the video a thumbs up as well, really appreciate it. And chuck some comments below. What is your favourite Custodian Guard unit and why? Let us know. We'd really like to hear from you. And uh, thanks so much for watching the video, guys. I do really appreciate it. I'll see you very soon on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.